really excited. I'm really excited to actually like take a look at it. I already looked at it when I went to pick it up, but it looks marvelous. Three, you two, can, one, yeah, you can open it. Oh, wow, that's pretty. So Travis over at Joy Designs. I don't think you've met Travis yet, have you? No. Awesome dude. Um, met him a couple years at a truck years ago at a truck show. He's been doing some fab stuff on the side. He did a really good job. I mean, we're talking vanjins everywhere, V bands. There is no chance for a leak of boost on this uh, bad unit. Well, we got our uh, eighty eight forced inductions turbo, and then we got the what was it seventy two. I'm pretty sure we did a 7288 setup. So this is the same setup that we did on my 4G, I believe. Um, but Travis did a really, really good job with the piping and stuff. He put cross bolts in on um, the hood stack because we're going to be making some power. We're going to be pushing these chargers past their limit. Um, he did a nice little support. Yeah, that's a great idea on how he did that too. Um, I pretty much just dropped it off with all the parts and said, make it cool. And he kind of collaborated with me and told me like his ideas for the fab stuff. Now he did a great job. This is something that we need to be able to do in the future, Bob. Now me and him are not welders. So eventually we need to add a fabricator to the team, but Travis did a killer job on this one. Really appreciate him. Um, he's always nice. Never cares to help when it comes to fab questions, but look at the fitment. It's got our name in it. Yeah. You didn't know that? No, no. It's kind of like cool. That. Yeah. We kind of fancy. I love the way it looks out the hood. Yeah. I love that. Because I'm already a miter cut person. Um, he is also the one who made the hood stack kit for the big truck. Um, just in case anyone's wondering. But, yeah. We got to get this engine cleaned up a little bit. She got a little dust in her. We're going to get her cleaned up. Going to get the rocker box on it. And maybe try and get this thing running this week. We do have a lot left to do still. Like... It sounds easy to get it running, but it's it's not. We still got to put the whole engine harness on, um, take everything back apart in the front to where we can get to put the engine harness on. And you might be able to put it. Oh, God. We didn't put the starter on, Bob. No, there's like four in the floor. You know, I was wondering where our random collection of starters came from. We got one there. We got one there. Um, there's two more over there on a the pallet. I was wondering why we had so many extra starters, but that explains so much. Um... I really like the dipstick support he did. He also put all the sensors on the back side. We've got bungs for nitrous on both sides of the pipe, depending on where we want to put it. Um, the nitrous solenoid is already mounted over here, and this is just like a this is just a spool jet and or just a, I guess you would call it a panic button. Um, some people would call it that if you're getting gapped on the street and you want to add a little sauce. Um, also, this guy uh, Lucas did end up with my seats. Um, so the seats out of the teal truck are in this truck now, but that's kind of a shame now because we own the teal truck again and now we don't have the seats for it, but it'll be okay. We'll probably do like a, I think I want to do like brown leather on the inside of that. I think like a longhorn interior would look killer with the teal color. We do need new carpet. The we carpet, fucked, the carpet we, 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 <laughs> we messed up the carpet install. We'll take full blame for that one. I wasn't going to call us out on that, but you done brought it up on camera. So now I have to address it. Um, I think we should do one of the new, Worley just released a new coolant tank that mounts right there too. Like we have plenty of room, like we could leave that one, but Worley just released a, like a metal one that we could powder. And I think we're going to start working with those guys on some builds. So we'll see. Um, also, Bub, did you hear about our amazing new product? Cue the infomercial. That's another product release. We have the fifth gen upper coolant pipes in stainless. I believe everyone else that makes these right now, they're all aluminum. Um, but it also comes with stainless clamps and some really high-quality uh, silicone boots. But, yeah, those look great. So, if you don't know, we've already started making some products for the 5th gen. Um, we got our fuse box covers here. We have those for 3rd, 4th, and 5th gen. Um, working on the 10 to 12 trucks. This is film right here. It's mirror stainless on top. Um, we also keep some powdered options in stock. And then we've got the 5th gen fender braces. And so this is the prototype, and we've got 10 being made right now. What you think, bub? This is your first time seeing it. She's a lot better made than previous pipes that we've seen. She's hefty. She is, yeah. It's very thick. It's very heavy, very good quality. Um, the badge is molded to it, and then everything's, you know, TIG welded stainless. So Yeah, that looks good. It actually turned out really nice. And like I said, we're not putting cheap clamps in there or cheap boots or anything like that. It's all going to be super high quality stuff. But that's enough ads for today enjoy the video oh your favorite part so far is still 
the little the little brace. The support, yeah. Yeah, because we had uh what was it? The drag truck. The turbo kit didn't have a brace for the hot pipe. This one had a brace that went to the block before. Yeah, yeah. Th this hot pipe had had a brace that went to the block, but when you went deck plate, the head went up one inch and nothing fit. Not one thing fit. Uh, but yeah, we still got a lot to do on this thing, man. The more I look at it, the more I realize we have to do. We're going to try and get her done for Smoky Mountain Truck Fest. But um, if if everything in the world goes right, we might have a chance. If there's any snags, we don't have a chance. But four others. yeah, we do have four other trucks to build. And then between that, making videos, me traveling across the country. I mean, I spent a whole day gone yesterday in West Virginia to pick this thing up. So we're trying, guys. <laughs> we're going to try and get as many trucks as we can there. Um, Katie's obviously is going to make it because it's, it's just, it's a simple, I mean, we'll probably finish that thing in like a day or two. Mm -hmm. That one's not a big deal. We might even do it on a weekend, but this one's a little bit more of a deal. It still hasn't ran yet. We still got to get the engine broken and then we still got to do a hot retort. So, and we got to do a hot retort on some hefty head studs. Yeah, those are massive. These, these enforcer engines are no joke. Um, but yeah, D and J does a beautiful job on their engine. I will point that out. So let's get to work. Let's do something. Glad to see this one back though. I was kind of missing it. You know, this whole end of the shop was just so empty looking. Like <laughs> we had room to walk around and everything. Yeah, she's home. She's she's home. She's back. Lucas, we're just gonna we're just gonna buy her off you. She can't leave anymore. Well, by here we got new toys while I was gone. We did. We very much did. So I mean, you can guess what's in that box. I would hope that most people can guess what's in that box. Head. A kitty cat. Oh, <laughs> meow. <laughs> um, let's yeah, let's cut this pallet open and see what's in here. I mean, I know what's in here, but the people don't. I'm kind of nervous. Like, where do you cut it? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Like, this might be the first pallet like this we've been like worthy of having. You know, we usually get them junkyard engines, man. <laughs> oh gosh, I just gave it away. I said it. I might bleep. So we have, it. yeah, keep going, keep going. It's like Christmas, but oh, yeah, yeah. tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> but also not ours. Oh, no way, that's a cool mount they made. Well, if you can't tell, it's a, it's a common mount. <gasps> they have stickers. No, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> no, it's not an actual sticker, it's just to cover the head up. That's a very good idea though. Really clean. It's a really nice engine. Keeping that. Yeah. <laughs> You're coming home with me. Oil filter. What's with all these engine guys giving us oil filters, man? They're just too generous. What he even got us the best in the biz, the Wix. Actually, that's a cheap oil filter. But uh um yeah, so this is a Waggler Street Fighter bottom end. It's a stock six seven bottom end. Um with all, everything's new in it, all new bearings, uh, the crank's been turned, I'm sure they're used cranks. Um, it's got street fighters, new pistons, uh, new rings. Uh, pretty much all your wearables are new, um, but the only difference between this and a stock engine is the street fighters, and that is what we're looking for. Um, if you're looking to make, you know, a thousand plus on a stock block and not have to sleeve a block or buy a deck plate engine, like, this is a great solution, especially for the price, to be honest. If this customer's truck holds up pretty well, we might want to we might want to buy one of these to play around with in the pull truck. That's nice. It is, yeah. I, I, that's a good idea. I really dig that. Um, but we'll leave that on there for now because it might be a little while before we get to play with this. But just so everyone knows, this is for the blue third gen sitting out back. Um, we're gonna finally give her some love. Customer sent us a bunch of money. Said to order a bunch of parts. Um, so we're going to make this thing, like I said, I believe the truck had what, a hundred overs in it is what he said? I think so. It's like a hundred overs and a 472. So he will never at least send a rod. Now, I mean, unless it's just a pure, well, like, yeah. well, <laughs> I, uh, I mean, unless there's like a parts failure, but these engines are rated for a thousand. They have warranty for a, one year at a thousand horsepower. So if you're looking to, you know, make around a thousand, you want to be safe. This is a great engine option. These engines run about $10,000, um, which honestly is, is very reasonable for what's done to it. So if you have a 6.7 and you chuck a rod out the side and you want a short block in a very man like good, timely manner, 
I ordered this last Thursday and this is this Thursday. It took a week to get here. Um, they keep them in stock already built and then we got a fleece head for it. Um, still got to find head studs. I mean, those things are gold right now. Like you cannot find a set of head studs right now. So we got to find head studs for him and then we need head studs for another one of my trucks too. So, um, yeah. How's, uh, how's Gabe's truck coming? Awful. Let's not talk about it. Yeah. Um, Bad timing. Certain people <laughs> should not be allowed to do certain things. That's all we're going to say. <laughs> That's all we're going to say. Um, if we do get held up on the lift, though, today, we can go ahead and put his... He's got Alpha Rex headlights for it, I believe. Because, awesome. you know, we always got to be repping our boys over at Alpha Rex. Old Danny. But let's... Bumper swap. Yeah, yeah. We got we got a lot of work to do on this one. We got to do a bumper swap. Um, got to put the valence on the bumper. The valence isn't on it, which is good because we can go ahead and bolt it on and then worry about the valence later. Um, honestly, we'll probably do the bumper after we align the truck and it's done, like while it's on the rack. Mm -hmm. I figured you'd want to do it that way. Yeah. But we'll go ahead and get the front clip off here soon and go ahead and start changing the headlights. But for now, we're going to start installing this six inch um, long arm full cradle long rear arm striker kit. This is not a simple kit to install. Luckily, you know, we have a lot of experience with striker kits. Um, not saying this is impossible, guys. Don't veer away from it. You can do these in your driveway. It's just, uh, you definitely want to have a lift involved for sure. But let's get to work, bud. So we got the uh, Alpha X headlights wrapped up in the 5G build for Gabe. Um, they look good. We've also got most of the front of the lift on. We're going to try and finish the front of the lift today. Hopefully, um, me and Bob are both working on the truck to try and get it knocked out even faster. All right, that'll kind of wrap up today's video. Thank you all for watching. Um, we do have my white 5G in here just in for some service. And then we're going to go ahead and install one of our coolant pipes on it so you all can see what it looks like installed. You have to check that out in the next video. But we do already have the coolant pipes on the website. We should have 10 available to ship next week. So if you're wanting to get one, I would hop on the list. Uh, I've got enough material order to probably build 30. But uh, the first 10 are already going to be done. and They're going to go pretty quick. But appreciate y'all. Obviously, if you do order a powdered one, it is going to take longer. Um, but thank y'all for watching. Thank <laughs> you.